This is my review of the Tenba Daypack Photo Tablet Mini. Now I often spoil my reviews right up front and give you the bottom line and I can tell you I'm a picky bag person when it comes to finding the right bag to carry around my photo gear. It's got to be well made, it's got to make sense, it's got to be customizable, and this bag fits all of those requirements very nicely. Stick around for the full review and how you can win this very bag right here. Weighing just under two pounds, capable of carrying a DSLR in a couple of lenses, or better, a mirrorless system and three to five lenses. Let's talk about some of the features on the outside that I really appreciate. So it's a very lightweight bag, as I said, just under two pounds, but they didn't skimp on the padding. Both the shoulder straps are very comfortable and there's nice amount of padding along the back, as well as a channel for breathability in here. During the warmer months, it's really nice to be able to have some airflow so you don't get a big sweaty back when you're carrying this around. It's made of this nice water resistant nylon material, but if you're going to be in more serious wetter conditions, it does include a rain fly to throw over the top. The bottom, however, is made up of this ballistic rubber that is completely waterproof, so you do not need to worry about where you're setting your bag down. Your gear is going to stay dry, even if you set it down on snowy or icy or puddle type conditions. We've got an sternum strap here that can be raised and lowered on this little slider to adjust better for you and of course your normal straps. On the side we've got a compression strap and a big elastic pocket that could hold small tripods, water bottles, or even a small puff jacket. And both sides do have that uh, elastic strap plus the compression straps. There are three compartments to this bag plus one mini compartment. We've got the main compartment here for lenses we're going to open up in just a second. We've got a little compartment that you could slide a small cell phone into or other uh, snacks. We have the top compartment and if you remember the name of this bag, it is the Photo Tablet Mini. We have a spot for a tablet and an iPad Air Mini, iPad, even small Chromebooks and Mac books will fit in that, 11 inch MacBooks. Let's take a look inside the bag now. As I mentioned, we have that iPad mini slot. Uh, we also have the elastic pockets on the side. I just got a little tripod in there. We'll start with the main compartment down here that has the standard camera dividers. And this actually will fold back enough that it will stay down. A zipper pocket with a little bit more waterproof protection. I've got a compass in there right now. And then above that, we have the standard camera dividers. Right now, I'm carrying in here the T5i with the 18 to 135. I have the lovely Sigma 35mm f1.4 prime. And then the little 24 pancake sitting on top of the Canon 10 to 18. So, you know, two to three lenses plus a medium or smaller size DSLR, you do have infinite ways that you can configure this and a mirrorless camera which will be smaller and smaller lenses will give you more room. This whole section comes out so if you wanted to stick a raincoat or something else in here as well you could do that and I'm going to show you one other feature that I really like in a second. Here's the integrated rain fly that I was talking about so the whole bag becomes covered and it's got little snaps to keep it all secure uh, on there and can keep your bag completely waterproof. Up in the top section, we have additional space for your little extra bits. I've been keeping a journal in here, pen, card safe, and they add in the little hook that will allow some uh, connections there so you're not stuff isn't flying out. And then since I'm bringing along a tablet, I'm going to go ahead and bring along my trigger trap material as well so that I can run time lapses. Another zipper pouch here that I've got a spare battery in and a multi-tool and that works really nicely, more room. And then right above this is your spot for your business cards or your luggage tag. And a quick pro tip for you is I suggest keep a couple of business cards in there. So one, you already always have them available to you. And on the top one, write in nice big letters, reward if found, plus your phone number. So that way people know you're serious about getting this bag back and they have an easy way to contact you. Now, I said I wanted to show you one of the features that I really like, and that is that 
this whole section here, oh, I got little macro extension tubes in there as well, and still room for more. This whole section here is Velcro uh, divider, and that can pull out as well. And then suddenly you have this complete pack can be open to you and carry whatever you want. Maybe you want to go out for the day without a camera. I don't know why you would want to do that, but if you did, this pack will allow you to do that. Overall, really nice. One last feature that I want to mention as I zip this bag back closed that these are self-healing zippers. So there are times where a zipper gets caught. I haven't had any issues with this bag yet, but, and then you end up in that really sticky situation where if you keep zippering it, it keeps pulling it apart. These are nicer designed and they will pull back together and continue to function. For me, the four big highlights of this bag, lightweight, well-made and comfortable, waterproof bottom, and completely configurable interior and all of that stuff can come out and become just a little day pack if you need it to be. So that's my review of this wonderful little photo backpack. If you would like a chance to win it, the link to enter is right down below. I just need your email address, but there are bonus options available for giving yourself a few extra entries. So be sure to check those out. If you appreciated this review and you're not already a subscriber, take a moment and hit that subscribe button. And I'd also appreciate it if you hit the thumbs up button to let other folks know that this was a worthwhile time. Thanks so much. Goodbye.